Hello friends. Today let's talk about a very interesting project that is silently growing exponentially in the world of crypto and blockchain. When I say it's growing, I'm speaking about millions of dollars worth of transactions happening every day. MakerDAO is the protocol we would be speaking about today and let's analyze the potential of MKR tokens which is the governance token in this protocol. MakerDAO is a fully autonomous programmatic lending system. It has really revolutionized the way you can borrow money online and pay it back with the lowest interest rate. The interest rate right now on the system is just 0.5%. If you were to take the same loan via a traditional bank, the interest rate would be anywhere between 10 to 30 percent. Say you want to borrow a hundred thousand dollars, the interest you would need to pay for this loan would be just five hundred dollars on this decentralized system. So how did MakerDAO make this even possible? Let's take a real world example wherein you would want to take a loan using a collateral like gold. You would go to a bank, give your gold and get money. When you pay back your loan, you will pay an interest for the loan and get back your collateral. That is the gold. In case you don't pay, the bank sells the gold at the market price and closes the loan. In the same way, you take a loan in the MakerDAO system by using Ether as a collateral. You can withdraw up to 66% of the Ether value you lock up. In other words, you would need to collateralize 1.5 times the loan you require in Ether. Say you want a loan of $10,000. You would need to lock up $14,000 value of Ether in the MakerDAO system. Then the system automatically deposits the loan in your crypto wallet as DAI tokens. You can convert the DAI tokens in any cryptocurrency exchange to fiat money, that is dollar, rupee, euro, etc. To repay the loan, you again buy DAI tokens in the exchange for fiat money, pay it back with interest and unlock your Ether collateral. So what are these DAI tokens? This is where things get interesting. Let me show you how deep the rabbit hole is. The MakerDAO system has two crypto tokens, one DAI token and the MKR token. DAI is a stable coin. That is the price of DAI does not fluctuate. It is pegged against the US dollar and the values always maintained at one USD. The loan that you get from MakerDAO is given as DAI tokens. If you are taking a $10,000 loan, you get 10,000 DAI tokens deposited in your wallet. You can convert this to fiat money in any crypto exchange. Every time you lock up Ether to generate a loan, the MakerDAO system creates new DAI tokens for you. When you pay back the loan, you pay back the principal as DAI tokens and these tokens are immediately burned or destroyed by the system to maintain the overall supply in the market as DAI exists only proportional to the debt it's backed with. The supply of DAI token is kept stable in the market by backing it with equal amount of debt, that is Ether. On the other hand, MKR is the governance token in the MakerDAO system. It fluctuates as a normal cryptocurrency. When you pay back the loan principal amount in DAI tokens, you pay the 0.5% interest in MKR tokens. It is also called the stability fee. The interest paid back in MKR tokens are also burnt and destroyed immediately. This is done as an incentive to the governance community holding the MKR tokens. Which means as more loans are paid back, more MKR tokens are destroyed, thus reducing the supply in the market and increasing the demand for it. And the price keeps increasing. The present supply of MKR tokens in the market are around 1 million. So the three elements that makes the MakerDAO lending platform to run in a full autonomous mode are the DAI tokens, the collateral that is Ether, 
and the entire tokens. So how does the MakerDAO system handle bad loans and non-repayment automatically? Well, two scenarios can happen. One, if the lender does not pay back the loan on time and the interest reaches a certain threshold limit, the underlying debt collateral is liquidated to buy die from the open market and is destroyed to maintain the price of the tokens. Two, if the price of the collateral dips below the minimum 150%, the system will liquidate the appropriate ether and holding automatically with a 30% penalty fee on top of the interest owed as well. Is MKR tokens a good investment? MakerDAO is a completely decentralized autonomous organization, which means this organization is run by a huge crowd. Anybody who owns the MKR governance token automatically becomes part of this decentralized organization. Holders of the MKR token can vote to decide how the organization is run, how much the interest rate should be, new features, etc. As more and more DAI tokens are taken and paid back, more interest is paid and more MKR tokens are destroyed, thus increasing the scarcity of the tokens and making the price increase. In the last two months alone, the price of the Maker token has raised 3x from $530 in December 2020 to $1,200 as of today. MakerDAO is a perfect example of decentralized finance in action. This programmatic lending platform is forcing to be a big challenge to the present loans and lending system provided by banks. It's more lucrative for the borrower as well, simply because you lend a loan to yourself by locking up your ether as collateral and creating a CDP. You don't need to prove yourself and gain trust from lenders or financial institutions. And where on earth can you borrow at such cheap interest rates? On the other hand, the system has its own set of risks as well. Though everything seems to be running smooth in an automatic manner, it's still not a time-tested model. Anything wrong can happen. If there is a crash in the price of cryptocurrency, the underlying collaterals in the system can go worthless. If more bad loans and non-repayment happens, the price of MKR token can go down. As always, please do your research completely before deciding to make any investment in any crypto. If you have any questions, you can reach us via Facebook Messenger using the link below or via email. Let's keep talking about more interesting topics. Do subscribe to this channel for latest updates.